Hey there guys, this is Solar from 50 Tuts, and I just want to give you guys a very useful tutorial. Um, you guys have already probably found out that install this, oopsies, you know, looking through the camera kind of gets confusing, I, I, I already deleted it, um, like the installing process is kind of suckish right now, it's not working, and um, you can check out AppCake here, also very popular. Um, stuff works, but, um, it obviously calls upon app cakes where you download it. It doesn't do any of the, um, installing. It calls up installers. So, no one wants to use that. You have IC and you have Rock. They have different things, but don't work. So, people are going back to SSH, um, and, uh, putting that manually into the iPod and using different, um, apps to use it. But um, today I'm going to show you guys a uh, script that will do that. And it involves, um, you know, one, two things that you have to have installed. So um, let's get straight to the tutorial. So um, you're going to need a couple of things. Um, but first, now that I have the camera up, uh, my screen recorder is actually um, out, of, out of date. I didn't actually... Uh, pay for the um, the trial so I'm actually pending my order right now it's um, Camtasia well, it was pretty pricey it was $2.99 and um, so hopefully that will work out for me I really like Camtasia and um, so yeah hopefully that works out anyway um, you're gonna have to have Cydia and um, you're already gonna have um, uh, the source is already installed you're gonna go to search after it's gonna load up you're gonna search up boss preps if you already have it, it looks something like this. You slide over on t up top, and it drops down this window, and does a couple of things. Um, yeah, you guys should know what what it is, but uh, that's ba it's just basically useful stuff. And uh, you can respring your device, reboot it. It's it's pretty handy. Okay, and it opens up in almost every application, I believe. You need that, and um, you need a uh, toggle SSH. You need a uh, automatic SSH. And uh, I I believe that's it. So um, you you the essential part is you're gonna need um a file, uh the Pixie app installer that um it's a zip file that you can download via the description, um leads you right to it. Make sure you guys t uh, pick that up, and uh, hopefully um this video comes out forward to you guys. So you're gonna go to toggle SSH and click enable, and now we have SSH. Uh, open and now we're ready to go to the computer. There's the Pixie app installer. You're gonna right click and ex extract it. Oh, whatever thing you're gonna use. Now I'm just gonna select all these and bring it up here. And here are the file names. There's auto i dot sh from sinful uh, iPhone. Install ipa ipa ipa.sh and uh, the readme file which has the instructions if you don't want to watch the video um, so these are the files you'll be needing and um, I'll show you guys how to install them, where to install them and how it works okay so I've already opened up um, my uh, my SSH client you can use whatever files, uh, WinSCP, whatever using that client you're going to go travel back to private then var and scroll down and you get root open up root and here we are Okay, now from the folder, there will be three things that you need. You need the ROI.SH to be put right here, the IPA.PNG, and the IPA.SH. Now, there's, there's one thing that you have to do. In WinSCP, you're going to right-click, and you're going to go to Properties, and you're going to change the value to 0777, and it will enable all the write, uh, and the write and read, and I think uh, edit, whatever it is. You're just going to um, write, it's actually chmod, mod whatever you want to say and just use zero zero seven and and that, that's that's what you need for the first step that shouldn't be so hard but this is one thing that you need a lot if we're gonna go back into the desktop I have this install IPA this is probably the most essential thing you need um uh, this too but this thing you really need a lot okay so now we're in uh on the iPod again and we'll go to var and I believe it's either uh, stash or something. Yeah, it's stash and applications. This is probably unique to every single one. So applications and this is every single thing you see on your home screen or you know 
you know, you see on your uh, on your springboard, whatever it is. But what you need is Boss Prefs app right there. You can double click on that. And over here, this is a folder called Services, and inside is where you're gonna move that install IPA into there, and it should. It's only 69 kilobytes, so it should go in a flash. Okay. Once you have that, we're gonna travel right back to the iPod. Back onto the iPod. We're just gonna go to Springboard, and um, so here we are. And uh, the boss preps. Now uh, you're gonna need an IPA file, so you're gonna download it off of whatever you want to do. I'm just gonna go to AppCake, or probably you know what? I already have one probably installed. Um, so wherever your source may be. Um, install the IPA and it should go to um, if let me just go back to WinSCP it will you're gonna make sure that it installs the the IPA you saw goes to mobile <coughs> library <coughs> and then downloads and place it right there so after you're done with that you're gonna travel to the boss press so app and if you're doing it via SSH I'm going to repeat again that you do have to put it in exactly what private var mobile library then downloads not media so you have to put it there okay so you're going to go to boss prefs and if you scroll down you can see right there install IPA and that's the one that you put into the boss prefs um, thing now what you're going to do is you have to be aware of this. Your iPod will freeze. Um, you won't be able to do anything. You can't go to the home um, springboard, okay? All you have to do to install it is press that toggle switch right there and it will install. Your iPod will freeze right there and once it's done, it will respring and you slide in and there you'll have it. So if you guys don't believe me, I um, download toss it and uh, I'll press on. Look at this. Watch me put pressure. Nothing. Okay, so your iPod will freeze. Now the app was like not even it was only like six megabytes, so it shouldn't take that long. Uh, meanwhile, um, I will tell you guys about a uh, new uh, channel called Gravity Beats, and um, it's basically a uh, me and uh, another friend of mine named Austin who um, who told who started this. Uh, yeah, we started this channel, and I will talk about, you know, being pencil tapping and stuff. It's pretty hip right now, so it should work. So, anyways, okay then, and, um, and your app should be done. So, uh, that is pretty much how you do it, and, uh, it's pretty easy, and you don't need any apps other than, uh, boss preps and, um, uh, SSH. I learned how to do that. So, if you want to learn how to do SSH, make sure you watch my next video, and, um, that's how you could do it. This is Slar from Pixie Please rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.